almighty Hercene hear my prayers. Strengthen me. Well met, Hunter. And thank you for your persistence. It is time for another gift. Time for an upgrade. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I've returned to High Rothgar. Let me just look at my notes. I met the master of the Greybeards, the dragon Parthenax. He told me that the ancient Nords used an Elder Scroll to cast Alduin forward in time. If I can recover that same Elder Scroll, I may be able to use it to learn the Dragonren shout directly from the ancient heroes. So I was given an option to talk to Esbern or to Angir. Since I'm already here in the area, I will speak with Angir. It's provided I can find him. I'm not sure I trust the blades even though they have been helping me they are a bit pushy and self-righteous hmm I thought there was a door over here somewhere probably the door I passed now which one are you Wolfgar I didn't realize that this monastery, if that's what it is, was so large. I probably could have reached... What's his name? Esbern. I probably could have found him quicker than the time it's taking me to locate Arngear. Is he outside in the courtyard? It doesn't appear so. I would ask you where Angir is, but I'm sure you wouldn't answer me. I just love how things are always much more difficult than they need to be. Alright, I've been down all of these corridors. Someone was shouting, but I don't see them. This is the last place I saw Arngear. Now, let's see if I can pray to her scene while I'm out here. It's probably too close to civilization, though. working. Mighty Hercene, hear my prayer and strengthen me.
Thank you, mighty Hercene. Okay, now, let me try again to find Arn gear. If not, I'm headed for Esbern. in circles. It's really as though he doesn't want to be found. Very well then, let me look at my map. Alright, we'll try Esbern then. It's one thing about me, I don't have time for foolishness if people want to hide. I'm not playing Seek. At least I'm pretty sure where Esbern will be. Oh no, you've got to be kidding me. He's not out here. Hmm. Well, you know, I could always go back to Orsinium and just call it a day. Let these people deal with the dragons on their own. None of them want to be cooperative. This is ridiculous. Why is everyone hiding from me? Ah. Oh. Well, look at that. Find it finally found someone to talk to. I don't blame them for coming. Oh no. Are you kidding me? I heard a dragon. Here. Is it really going to attack us? Sure, this area is large enough. In the dream, I was standing someplace high for it to land a tower or a mountain. It was always just before dawn, the whole world was in darkness. Then came the flash of light just on the horizon, within the clouds that marked the border between worlds. It could have been lightning, but there was no thunder. In the dream, the sense of foreboding grew. I could never wake up. Then it came again, this time more distinct, closer. Definitely not lightning. Now it was orange, brilliant orange. The color of hearth and dawn. And a sound, too, distinct and indistinct. Not thunder, something else. Something uh, I should recognize, but in the dream I cannot place it. I want to leave my high place to seek shelter. From what I, I don't yet know. In the manner of dreams, I cannot escape. I'm forced to wait and watch. Then, finally, realization and horror arrive together. The orange is flame, heat. The sound, the roar, challenging their ancient tongue. But now it's too late for escape. 
the dragon is upon me. Fire and darkness descended like a thunderbolt. And not just any dragon, but the dragon, Aldred, the world eater, the dragon who devours both the living and the dead. And then I would wake up and hope that it was just a dream. But know that it was not. Ah, hmm. you're back. I hope yes. you've made some progress on tracking down this shout we need to defeat Alduin. Some progress, not as much as I'd like. I went to see the Greybeards, but now Arngear is hiding from me, so I have to come back to you. Ah, you're back. Yes. I hope you've made some progress on tracking down this shout we need to defeat Alduin. I'll need an Elder Scroll to get any further. Ah, indeed. And there's a pretty puzzle. Not the kind of thing you'll find in your local bookshop. Let me think. Perhaps the College of Winterhold, what learning there is in Skyrim, is gathered there. One of the mages there may be able to put you on the trail of this Elder Scroll. Interesting, Esburn. It sounds like your voice changed. But I appreciate the information. So, you've already told me where I need to go. Why am I asking? Is there any idea where to find the Elder Scroll? Do you know the College of Winterhold? They have a deep interest in such arcana. Okay. Any advice for fighting dragons? You're in luck. There is a blessing the blades used on the eve of battle. It's supposed to prepare the mind for slaying dragons. Oh, really? I doubt the blessing's effects last for very long. So ask whenever you're heading out, and I'll perform the proper rites. <laughs> well, you'd better give it to me now, then. May the scales of the dragon kind splinter at the touch of your arrows and crack under the weight of your sword. That's all there is to it, Dragonborn. Hmm, and I Good have luck. neither. All right. So be it. Goodbye, then. So I see he didn't really like the robes that I gave him. He's changed into something else. And Delphine has changed into the blade armor. Interesting. All right, let me look at my map. All right, it looks like I'm headed to Winterhold. All right, good, it's morning. I haven't prayed, and fortunately the moon is waning I, again, and I yes. haven't transformed. Let's see if I can find a little private area. Hopefully this is far enough away. No, it isn't. It's not working. I can't see civilization then. There's an outcropping over there that better be far enough away. Sometimes praying to her scene can be more problematic than it's worth. Still not. Her scene, you know this is ridiculous. Why are you doing this to me? snow is deep here. 
Mighty Hercene, hear my prayers. Strengthen me. Well met, Hunter. And thank you for your persistence. It is time for another gift. Time for an upgrade. You'll find out when the time is right. Hmm. Well, thank you, Hercene, for whatever the gift is. All right, let me get to Winterhold. recall from the times I've been here before I was told the college was at the end of the street here cross the bridge at your own peril the way is dangerous and the gate will not open you shall not gain entry why are you out here I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college and if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? I need to enter the college. Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? I seek the knowledge of the Elder Scrolls. Do you? It is true, there are some here who have spent years studying the accumulated knowledge of the Scrolls. But what you seek does not come easily, and can destroy those without a strong will. It would seem that the College has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the College? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. Mm -hmm. A small test, if you will. Well, you're asking the wrong person if you want to see a display of magic. I know practically none. But would you grant entry to the Dragonborn? Dragonborn? It's been so long since we've had any contact with the Greybeards. Do you really have the voice? I would be most impressed to see it. Mm -hmm. All right. You asked for it. I hope it doesn't hurt too much. All right, I held back. So the stories are true. You are Dragonborn. Yes. Normally, you'd need to show some aptitude with one of the schools of magic. But you... I think there is much that we can learn from each other. Mm. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabelle Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Well, I like the reverence in your voice. <laughs> All from a single shout. I hate to think what sort of magical test they would have put me through. I know I would have failed it. The only thing I can do is create a dagger. Her scenes dagger. And Malakath gave me special spells to protect myself and strengthen my one my unarmed skills. That's it. Oh, and the healing spell that I learned from Farangar. Which is most unimpressive. 
and it drains every bit of magicka that I have. Which isn't much. So here I am. A warrior who cannot wield a weapon. Except for the loophole that her scene has given me. Is that it? All right, thank you. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. Uh, excuse me. To the Empire bowing to your ev All right, it must be this door. No. Oh. Excuse me. Hello. Specific volumes, Trevis. Hmm? Oh, no, no, not really. I actually, I've forgotten what I was looking for. Ah, well then, let me know if you need anything. What's that? Oh, yes, yes, thank you. I will. Hmm. The assistant. You there. You are now in the Arcanium. Of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Listen, don't threaten me. I'm an orc too. And it won't be angry Atronox that tear you apart. It will be me. Now... I'm looking for an Elder Scroll. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand boy? You'd better watch your tone. Of course I know what I'm doing. Do you have the Elder Scroll here? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. Hmm. Well, I need to find one, and I was told that you could help. At least a fellow kinsman, if you have any sort of compassion. I don't know who told you that, but I'll do what I can. I'm what sure we do you have will. are plenty of books. I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Until next time. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. You quite the attitude. Something odd about that first book. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? This Ruminations book is incomprehensible. Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls. But, well, he's been gone for a long while. 
too long. He's dead. Oh no, I hope not. But even I haven't seen him in years. And we were close. It came obsessed Can't with the imagine. Dwemer. Took off north saying he had found some old artifact. Haven't seen him since. Somewhere in the ice fields, if you want to try to find him. All right. Thank you for your begrudging Hundreds help. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. Mm -hmm. It's going to stay pristine, understand? I do, and you have nothing to fear from me, but you need to temper your threats. I know you can't help it because you're an orc, but I am not going to back down. Even if I am half red guard. <laughs> You've been spending a fair amount of time. Good day. Let me look at my map. So, this Septimus Cygnus is somewhere out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Figures. Oh, thank you for your help. somewhere out there. Might as well not let my curse go to waste. It's nothing like having the powers of a werewolf while in human form. said <laughs> but if not for Malakath's spells it would be difficult to defend myself to see what this upgrade is that her scene has for me. This gift. Oh, so cold out here. <laughs> I'm covered with ice. All right, let me get inside and see if Septimus Cygnus is even st still alive. This ice, it's still warmer in here.
You there. Dig, Dwemer in the beyond. I'll know your lost unknown and rise to your depths. Hmm, you must be the one that wrote that book. I heard you know about Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls, indeed. The Empire, they absconded with them. Or so they think. The ones they saw. <laughs> the ones they thought they saw. I know of one. Forgotten. Sequestered. But I cannot go to it. Not poor Septimus. For I, I have arisen beyond its grasp. So, where is the scroll? Here. Well, here as in this plain. Mondas, Tamriel, nearby. Relatively speaking. <laughs> hmm. On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. Hmm, don't make me hurt you. Just tell me where it is. Oh, a brutish one. <laughs> Septimus has no fear of you. You should. But as one block raises another, perhaps ourselves could help us each. All right, then. What do you want? You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men. But he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? No. Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> nice rhyme. Where is this Black Reach? Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mzark. Hmm. Of Tan, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock, to jump beneath the deathly rock. <laughs> you are such a poet. How do I get in? Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its Sky Dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. All right. What do I do with this spear? The deepest doors of Dwemer listen for singing. It plays the attitude of notes proper for opening. Can you not hear it? Too low for hearings? <laughs> and what do I do with this cube? To glimpse the world inside an Elder Scroll can damage the eyes or the mind as it has to Septimus. The Dwemer found a loophole, as they always do, to focus the knowledge away and inside without harm. Place the lexicon into their contraption, and focus the knowings into it. When it brims with glow, bring it back, and Septimus can read once more. And what do you want with the Elder Scroll? Ooh! An observant one. How clever to ask of Septimus. This Dwemer lockbox. Look upon it and wonder. Inside is the heart. The heart of a god. The heart of you and me. But it was hidden away. 
Not by the dwarves, you see. They were already gone. Someone else, ah, unseen, unknown, found the heart, and with a flair for the ironical, used dwarven trickery to lock it away. The scroll will give the deep vision needed to open it. For not even the strongest machinations of the Dwemer can hold off the all sight given by an Elder Scroll. All right, I'll ask. What is an Elder Scroll? You look to your left, you see one way. You look to your right, you see another. But neither is any harder than the opposite. But the Elder Scrolls. They look left and right in the stream of time. Ah, the future and past are as one. Hmm. Sometimes they even look up. What do they see then? What if they dive in? Ah, then the madness begins. All right. I'm getting out of here. I suppose thanks might be in order. At least you still have your life. I think I still need your help. All right, let's look at the map here. Alright, it looks like we're headed to Alftan. 